and let these rude cars just drive past and then we can start back up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Huda Beauty. If you are interested to know my opinion, please keep watching. And uh, if you are new to my page, don't insult me like this and subscribe and click the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. So uh, I'm gonna just say this. <laughs> my review on this will be at the end of the video. If you like this, thumbs up and I'll see you guys at the end so of the video. So a fair warning, I am not home by myself. I live with my parents. I know, I know. I'm trying to get my way up. <laughs> but <laughs> all jokes aside um if you guys hear the noise that's because you know there's people in the house and um that's just how it is when you live with family so let's get started and uh yeah this will be my first time trying huda beauty you huda beauty um the funniest thing about this foundation here i haven't tried it yet this is my first time trying it out and same thing with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. If you haven't seen my review on the beauty, on the Fenty Beauty Foundation, I'll leave the link down below so you can check out that review. They ran out of my skin tone. Same thing with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So I had to wait a week. I went on the Huda Beauty website and it took me to some UK website. And that UK website went and ran out of the cinnamon of uh, 440G. And I had to go to Sephora. I called my Sephora in my city or my state and didn't have the Huda Beauty in store. So I had to order off of the Sephora website. But who cares, you know? Who cares about the story? It doesn't matter. I got the Huda Beauty a week after. So yeah, this, mm. You know, they weren't kidding when they say it actually comes in a plastic bottle. Like it looks like, it looks like glass when you look at it from other people's, when you watch other people's review, it looks like glass, but it's actually plastic. Because Lord know if I drop this, well, it gotta be good first. If I drop this, then if it's a good foundation, then I'll probably be like, oh, dang, why? And ooh, it also came with the Huda Beauty um primer okay it came with a primer i'm guessing a makeup base is a primer i'm not a makeup guru whatever you call it but i'm guessing this is a primer it came with a little moisturizing makeup base so i'm guessing it's a, you know what we're gonna look this up because i don't want to sound stupid on here so we're gonna look up what a makeup base is ciao yo my phone is like gone yo like this is so sad. What is a makeup base used for? They also help low pigmented eyeshadows pop and primer. On the other hand, are used to make your skin silky and smooth. So the foundation is fine too. Okay. I see. Um, since they sent me this right here, let's see how much this makeup base costs. <laughs> hey, <laughs> $35. Huh, we cool with the sample. I'm cool. This is $35. This was, mm -mm. we cool. But we're going to try out the makeup base just to see if it's worth $35. But they were smart about, you know, putting it on here. Because people like me was not about to spend the $35 on a makeup base. And y'all saw the little tube it comes in? You tripping, bro. This has a strong perfumish smell, which I don't like strong perfume smell on my face, but this smells like, I don't know, this shit smells. It feels kind of sticky, which is kind of interesting. If you know me, you know that I like to use my Milk and Magnesia as a primer because my face is like anti-primer. I don't know why, but it's been doing pretty good lately. So I don't know if it's going to hold up to this makeup base. <laughs> um, we'll just see how this works out. But let's get this Huda Booty. 
going y'all i put this on my hand and it looks kind of like orangey in a way but i'm like mid-tone so this should be fine and i also put it on my thing from the looks of it i feel like this uh foundation itself is going to be one of those foundations that if i put too much of it i'm gonna look cakey but we're gonna figure this out i don't like to color correct but when it's needed we color correct right now let's just try who the booty and yo my hair is not looking so well right now because i'm putting makeup on but give me time give me time okay smell what's up with all these perfumey smell yo i don't like this perfumey smell i don't want to smell like i walked into victoria's secret yo did you get the right color yo <laughs> i look like casper hey yo uh what the let's try a brush let me try my vanity planet brush and see if this gonna work i don't know bro come on son come on son did you get the right hey i don't know if this is the right color i don't know how it looks on camera but this don't look like it's it okay this is a second pump Hey yo, do I have my receipt? Oh shit. We gonna stick it through. We gonna we gonna see how it looks. Maybe it's just because it's foundation. It could be better. It could be better. Did I shave my mustache? Maybe it's just the foundation that makes it look like you have a mustache. I was told this is full coverage. Okay. As you can tell, I'm not having the same excitement as I did with my fancy beauty. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I don't know how it looks like on camera, but baby girl, we ain't light skin, I tell you that. Hey, yo, son, this Huda Beauty don't have you looking cute. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should give it time. Maybe I should have color correct. I just did what YouTubers told me. They said it's full coverage and makeup Shayla. Makeup Shayla, pourquoi? Huh? Pourquoi? Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, that's just a filter, bro. That ain't you. Oh, I'm depending on you. Okay, we're gonna contour and we're gonna see if we can get this going because right now, girl, I don't know. I just don't know. Son. I don't know, son. Like, I just don't know. If you know me, you know I've been using this for the longest, girl. I've been using this for the longest, and I'm not letting this go. No, ma'am, I am not. I might let this Huda Beauty girl go, but I'm not letting my Sasha go. Well, this bake, I'm going to come back with my face fully done, and we're going to talk about this freaking Huda Beauty. So, I am done applying this full beat and i already look cakey as a mother lover um i'm not trying to downplay this foundation but this is nothing compared to this when people say when they put on fancy beauty they don't feel the foundation on their face is no lie 
I don't feel anything when I apply this to my face. I don't feel like I have makeup on when I apply this to my face. Compared to this, when I applied it, not only does it have a strong smell to it, a strong perfumish smell, but I felt cakey. Now I know at the beginning of the, at the beginning of the video when I was applying it, I was complaining about how full coverage I wasn't seeing anything covered on my face. Listen, I watch YouTube videos, okay? Je comprends, je regarde tout. Natal like a nyonso. I understand when a beauty, beauty guru reminds you, I'm not a beauty guru, so don't come at me. But I understand when beauty gurus say, if you want a full coverage, you can build it up. And that is true what they said about this foundation. If you want true coverage, you can build it up. I build up this foundation, okay? When I get full coverage with this foundation, I look flawless, okay, baby? I look cute. I look blessed. I look great, okay? And I don't feel anything on my face when I build up my foundation with this Fancy Beauty foundation. When I build up my makeup, y'all get what I'm saying. But when I started building up with this, I know y'all were seeing me doing this and some of y'all were probably questioning me when you were watching it. I felt it, okay? I felt the cakiness coming along. And I already know that throughout the day when I start smiling, because I joke a lot. I'm a jokester. I like to smile. I know when I start doing all this, <laughs> that smile right there, that line right there is going to build up and it's going to look bad. And I already rubbed it on my hands. You really, dude? Really? We're doing this now? But I know I'm going to get that smile crease. And I don't really get those small crease with Fancy Beauty. I'm sorry if I'm comparing the two, but it's the truth. Those are the two hottest foundations that are out right now. The Rihanna Fancy Beauty and Huda Beauty. Huda, Huda Beauty, I would say, is best for uh, dry skin. Uh, I wouldn't say Huda Beauty is for oily skin because I have oily skin and I can feel the cakiness on my mother-loving face. Okay, I can feel that cakiness and it ain't cute. Okay, um, I know this is not the type of foundation I would wear if I want to go out with people. Um, I could wear this if I want to take selfies, but I know during the day this foundation is going to wear out and it's going to feel cakey. And when I wear something that's this this thick, um, during the day I feel it on my face. I feel the fact that I just want to just take a towel and just wash everything off. I can feel that feeling right now. I have that feeling right now. And I don't think I'm going to last with this foundation at all. And I don't see myself making a, a intro with this foundation at all. Because if y'all saw my Fancy Beauty review, you guys will understand how hyped I was compared to now when I'm making this foundation. I really thought coming into this, I was going to have... You know that hypeness that I did with Fancy Beauty. You watch me on Snapchat. If you haven't, don't insult me like that and add me on Snapchat. Like now, like get your phone and add me on Snapchat. You did it. I know you didn't because you're still watching. Add me on Snapchat. Okay, thank you. So I decided to give it a try, and right now I need my receipt. I need to look for that receipt. Um, this gotta go. I need my money back. I got phone bills that I got to pay in a couple months, and I need that extra 45 that, you know, they charged me online for. So, I'm going to need that receipt sap because this is not it for me. I can't. I cannot. I just can't. It's it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful bottle, but the foundation ain't beautiful, but it's a beautiful bottle. I'm not trying to downplay the foundation. I know some of y'all be underneath people's comments talking about some. What's up with y'all downplaying all this foundation? It's a review. That's what reviews are for, okay? You come on my page and you're watching the review. That's what the review is for. And I'm looking at myself at the, the, the side camera and I'm already seeing that. Je suis quelqu'un d'autre. I'm somebody else right now because I don't, I don't see that. That that I did with my Fancy Beauty foundation. I'm gonna need my money back. They better not play with me. They better give me my money back, okay? They better give me my money. But I will be returning this product. If you wanna give it a try, go ahead, give it a try. But for me, it was a no, 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 no. 
Um, if you guys like this review, I gave my honest opinion about it. I wasn't too hyped on it because it didn't hype me one bit. So this review is kind of dry because it didn't hype me one bit. Okay? It didn't hype me at all. If you like this review, thumbs up this video and click the subscribe button and click that bell so you'll be notified every time I make a video. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.